for you? Oh, it was a great experience. Um, you know, a lot of the meetings, psychological testing, all that type of stuff, uh, kind of takes a toll on you. But it's a it's a mental game as long as a physical game on the last day. So uh, it was a great experience. And everyone asks you what is the craziest question that those guys throw at you? It's craziest question. Let's say, uh, how do you get 37 cents using eight coins? <laughs> I had no clue. So. <laughs> That was, that was a crazy question. What did you want to, just coming so close off the combine workout on, on Monday, what did you want to prove out here? Did, did you yeah. feel like you had to show? I just wanted guys? to uh, prove that I was fluid in my uh, DB drills. Uh, I could catch the ball. Uh, mostly just fluid and uh, under control when I'm breaking and doing all that type of stuff. Feel pretty good about it then? Yeah, I felt really good about it. Uh, there's one ball I dropped, so got to get the push ups in for that. But uh, overall, it was feel pretty good. It's kind of a weird atmosphere of having this many people watch you and it's really quiet how the football games It's uh, not at all. Um, you try to silence the noise even at games. So uh, for this, you just got to think of it as another opportunity to get better. Um, you're on the field with you know your brothers probably for the last time. So just have a great time and uh, you know do what we do. What's been some of the feedback from teams that you've gotten early in from the combine as well? Uh, I've had good feedback. Um, you know, I can play, they feel like I can play nickel, free safety. They ask me a lot if I can play corner. Uh, you know me, I, I feel like I can play corner. So um, it's just a matter of, uh, they say I have good, good film and all that type of stuff. So, you know, it's just a matter of who, who picks me. Anything else you think you can prove? Uh, I mean, I can prove everything really just to get better at everything. But I feel like I've, you know, I've shown that I've, you know, had good DB drills and, I've shown I can catch the ball. The only, you know, a big con is my height. Can't change anything about my height. So uh, for me, it's just, I, I have no regrets. What do you do over the next six weeks leading up to the draft? So over the next six weeks, I'm going to stay training, um, you know, have private workouts with teams, uh, you know, visit uh, teams as well. So just for me, it's just pr uh, training all over again. Did you see Sydney go down? Did you, yeah. Did you have a chance to talk to him at all? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll t talk to him a little bit. Um, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna happen. I'm about to go see him uh, in the uh, training room right now after this. How tough is that to see what you, a teammate go down like that? Draft? Mm -hmm. just, how, how tough is that seeing a teammate go go down like that? With the yeah, I mean it's really tough. Uh, just because you know Sydney's you know one of our best friends, all of our best friends. Um, he's you know great pr uh, prospect coming out. Um, felt like he could have been the first corner and still can be the first corner out off the draft board and. Uh, you know, the last drill, you know, last thing you had to do, and that and that happened. So um, definitely, you know, sad, but we know Sydney's strong, and he's going to, you know, still be there.